Where's Kaya? Kaya's been a bad girl. She's uh, currently upstairs. My upper back has been on the right side, tight as f This morning, I bent over and I picked up my puppy and I tweaked it. It's fine. I pulled it. Let me explain something to you guys, okay? First and foremost, I'm in a dog shit ass mood because of dog shit, as a matter of fact. You know when you feel like everything is stacked against you, you know, where it's just like, where you feel like things just pile on over and over again and then like one little thing will just like set you off and you're like all right it's time to end it all <laughs> okay that's how i feel on this friday since i got kaya obviously like my schedule has always been insane and not one that like normal human beings can sustain right but you know i i still do it because i love it i love what i do i'm a very fortunate person and i don't have an issue with it right i can pull it off and it's great. Well, one like almost 30 pound fluff ball who pisses shits and farts non stop put a massive dent in that program. You know what I mean? All of a sudden you can't wake up at seven and work out at eight. You have to wake up at six. So you have to take care of her. All of a sudden you can't go to sleep at 1130 and wake up at six. And then it's fine because you have to wake up regularly throughout the night to take her out. Long walks really help Chow Chow settle down. Hopefully, once the last round of vaccinations go through and she's fully gay and autistic, it's going to become much easier for me so I can, like, walk the living shit out of her and take her to the f***ing dog park and take her to socialize with other dogs throughout the entire day. When that happens, she will be much better. But the problem is that right now, I can't do those things because I can't take her out. So I have to, like, wear her out here. And smell is really big for that. And I have enough space in the yard and all this stuff. Imagine having a human baby. I cannot imagine. Bully sticks. Like, all these things are, are my best friend. Trick training for the mental stimulation. Doing all of that. Doing all of that and then some. None of it matters. Because the reality is um, she's just very smart and very stubborn. When are you going to get her fixed? Some parts don't allow unfixed dogs. No, wait, what? How are they going to know? That she's not fixed also she's like not even she hasn't even had her first period yet of course i'm gonna get her fixed no i want 11 more of these freaks because like i go to the dog park and they have an accident you know what i mean what are you insane if kai got pregnant i would kill myself straight up like i'd be like nope sorry can't do it can't take care of these dogs it's over for me it's done okay like don't worry i will get her fixed okay Trust me. The only reason why I can't get her fixed yet is because she's a big breed. And because she's a big breed, I need to make sure that I get her fixed at a time where she's developed perfectly. Most small dogs, you can get them fixed like before six months and it's fine. Big dogs, on the other hand, uh, at least there's studies on this. If you get them fixed before six months, before they, or especially before a year and a half, they end up developing unevenly. Your militants about keeping her unsocialized since she's fully vexed is awesome though. Proud of you. No, that's not even true. I have been socializing her. I've been socializing her pretty adequately. There's a lot of humans that come into this house and there's a lot of dogs that come into this house, except all those other dogs that come into this house are not going to the dog park. So she actually is socializing as well. It's just that I can't take her outside. I don't want to take her outside. I don't want to take her out on walks before she's fully vaccinated. I'm not trying to have her get parvo and die, even though sometimes I think, holy shit. Fiona, the other antisocial dog? No, Fiona is a perfectly social dog. Oh, God. I'm also sick. Everything is just awful. What does fix mean? Uh, meaning neuter. I know her first heat cycle is going to start in six months. It happens for 18 days. And then she won't have it again for another six months. Dog periods are the worst? Yeah, I'm not. That is going to be awful. Because she's going to need to wear a f***ing diaper. I've never had a female dog before. And um, I don't know anyone like... Like, I've taken care of Fiona, but Fiona was fixed before she ever had her period. So, I don't even want to know what that's going to be like. It's a lot of work, man. It's a lot of work. We got our female dog small at one years old, and she hadn't been in heat at that point. I hope she doesn't. I hope she doesn't get it for, like, a year. It's not the diapers that's the problem. It's not her f***ing bleeding everywhere that's the problem. When she's in heat, I can't take her to the park again for, like, an entire month. You understand? Because that's when she will get by other dogs so what do you mean why not dogs will go crazy you can fix her before her first period i know but i don't want to because she's a big dog and vets literally will tell you if you don't have a neutered or fixed made dog that is a big dog 
that it is better to literally get them snipped later so they can develop evenly so that they can grow to like what their normal size is supposed to be. Yes, the real stony ruby is correct. It is to avoid hip dysplasia. Hip dysplasia is a huge problem with large dogs, especially Kaya's breed. And that is precisely the reason why you can't get them spayed that early. A lot of adoption places that you go to, for obvious reasons, will fix dogs immediately, as soon as you can. Like, usually eight weeks in. They will literally not let you adopt dogs from adoption places until the dog is at least eight weeks old and completely neutered. They literally will not let you have a dog that's not neutered. They have to do that. The reason why they have to do that, regardless of how big the dog is, is because they don't want extra dogs out there. Wait, no, fixing is annoying. The recovery time is much longer than the boys, really? Because Fish recovered, if I remember. Like, it was, a, it was more traumatic for me than it was for him. He didn't know what the f*** was going on. Me, on the other hand, I felt like I just cut my son's balls off. You're like, f*** me up. But he was fine after like two, three days. They have to open females up. Oh, no. Female takes longer because you got to cut the abdominal wall open 10 to 14 days. We say at work, we're at a vet clinic. That's terrifying. My point is, it's hard, man. I don't recommend getting a dog for anybody, okay? It's, it's not recommended. Not a good idea. It's a bad idea, okay? Really bad. Don't do it. After an entire day of being a good girl, last night, I put her over here behind me, and she did the same thing she did again. When she has constant round-the-clock attention and care, she's perfectly fine. The moment that you don't give her what she wants... The moment that you like literally look away, for example, when she like wants your attention, I let her pee outside. I brought her back in. I put her in the crate. She put her arms up on this thing and started pissing. She's the most annoying little shit when she does not want to listen when she gets bratty. It is so it's a, literally a, a, a dominance piss. Like it's not even it's not nervousness. It's not out of separation anxiety. She's right next to me straight up. She was like, I'm annoyed. You're not taking care of me. I'm going to piss right here. She needs to learn to be bored. It's normal thing. My pup was the same. Exactly. It's really annoying. So that's what I'm trying to train her with right now. I've decided I have given her too much. She has too much freedom. Obviously, she doesn't have a lot of freedom of movement. If it was up to my mom, she would have all kinds of freedom of movement, which you're never supposed to do for dogs, for the record. You're not supposed to do that for dogs, especially when you're training them. For those of you who don't know, you're supposed to limit their movement on purpose so you limit their behavior they don't eat things that they're not supposed to they don't actually accidentally you know get themselves in trouble by eating your socks and then choking on it you know what i mean and then they need surgery you have to ensure that they're also trained for separation anxiety you can let dogs have kong toys and things like that especially in a crate or especially in a pen areas where they're like comfortable areas where they they that so they feel comfortable so they feel cool and, and excited to be inside of okay but you're not supposed to just like have a thousand different toys. When you give them too much and they have too much stimulation and they are able to like entertain themselves too much, then they start not needing you for leadership and they start just, you know, getting spoiled like a child. You can say you're wrong all you want. So one of the things that I have to do is basically take some of these toys back and then only give it to her when she's behaving right. Do you have an actual crate or just a pen? No, of course I have a crate. I have a pen. I have another much larger play area in the in the living room. Yeah, it's it's difficult. Like trying to get your dog to calm down when they're f***ing riled up is hard, but they need that. Last night she peed uh, inside and that was fine. It's not great, but what are you going to do? And then I crated her afterwards and she was perfectly fine until this morning. This morning she's perfectly fine. I walk her in my house. She poops in the front yard. Give her a treat. One to two seconds is how, how quick you have to be when you are rewarding a dog. For those of you who don't know, does she cry at night usually? No, not at all. She only cries when she's alone. She only cries when I leave her in the balcony. She only cries when I uh, put her in the crate during the day. At night, if she's sleeping in her crate and it's closed and I'm sleeping next to her, she's perfectly fine. Never cries. But she never stops crying. She never stops barking usually. She never stops barking because... It's a guard dog breed. So they're literally, they're just, they want to bark all the time, especially at night, all the time, especially when you leave them out all the time. That's like any kind of stimuli they're going to bark at. I have to train her to not do that, obviously, because they have a very annoying and very loud bark. Is this info you just had or did you take a refresher course? 
no, this is a lot of this information I just read and also knew from training another dog, you know, when I was younger, a couple of years back when I had a fish, my pit bull. It's basic information. A lot of the stuff that I'm explaining to you is just like good for all dogs too. So I take her out to poop this morning, immediately on the leash. I'm leash training her too inside of the, in, in the front yard right now. Cause I'm like, I'm gearing up for when I can actually start walking her outside and go on big walks. So she poops, she gets a treat. It's great. After she poops, I bring her back inside and then I put her in the crate. It's only for two hours, right? Cause I'm going to go and work out and then come back. I don't want to leave her with my mom and dad. They're not responsible enough. I don't believe that they, my mom was doing something. My mom is actually decent, but my dad doesn't know how to take care of a dog. He's going to her mom. So she's fine at first in the crate. Turns out she's not fine. I come back from the gym two hours. She only spent two hours in the crate. She had pooped already. She doesn't poop that much. She shit all over the crate. She doesn't have enough space in the crate. The crate is perfectly sized, which is very important for those of you who don't know. A big part of crate training is you have to make sure that the crate is like perfectly sized for her so that she can only get up and move around and lay on one side or get up, move around and lay on the other side, but never like so large that she can shit on one side and then, you know, avoid the poop. That's the whole point of the crate. So she doesn't want to shit there. That's where she eats sometimes as well. And so she's not going to want to shit there because she's not going to want to sleep in the shit. My dog, on the other hand, is not like that. She pooped and smeared it all over the walls. It's definitely anxiety and it's definitely stubbornness. 100%. I come back, she's wagging her tail at me with shit all over the goddamn room. Like basically in my bedroom, there's shit everywhere. She's also three months old. It doesn't matter. This is like, it is unnatural to want to shit where you eat and sleep. That's not territory marking. Shitting is not territory marking. Pissing is territory marking. Shitting is not. It's quite literally the exact opposite of what a dog is naturally supposed to do. So now I'm like freaking the fuck out. Do you know how to deal with this? <sighs> I don't know. Does she still have worms? No. It's not that she hates the crate. I don't put her in the crate to punish her. She walks into the crate voluntarily, regularly. All of her toys are in there. She eats in there. I sleep with, I lay in there with her for a little bit every now and then. I'm doing all the right shit. These are all the things you need to do to make her comfortable with the crate. I immediately give her a treat when she walks in there voluntarily. You got to do all that stuff. You fit in the crate? No, I don't put, put my whole body in there. I just like lay in my head inside of it. Yeah, this morning I basically got back. My back is up from picking her up. I picked her up this morning to bring her upstairs and immediately I go, Ugh! you know that feeling when you like get a deep pain in your, in your back, lower back, upper back, wherever, where when you breathe, it hurts. I was like, Ugh! yeah, poor posture. 100%. It was tight for like two weeks now. It's been tight for two weeks and it culminated in what it was supposed to, which is upper back pain. Start leaving worn clothes with your smell so she stops getting separation anxiety. First of all, that doesn't help. She pissed on it last time I did that. So she's a freak. Anyway, I'm, I'm trying to like retrain her like it's day one. And I'm also trying to train my parents to know exactly what to do as well. Like only on the leash when she goes outside. Outside is not for fun time. Not letting her roam outside. A lot of this stuff is supposed to be like completely controlled. Like mom basically realized like, oh my God, I've been doing all of the wrong things then. Like I've been letting her roam. I've been giving her toys. I've been giving her everything. I mean, she's so good. Like she's so good at stay. She's so good at sit. But if there's external stimuli, it's so hard. I know you're just venting about it, but things will get better. I know. Sorry, I, I had to, I was away for a minute there because I had to deal with uh, this one. I think it was time for me to take her out, take her peeing, and give her attention once again. like what is this shit this is like 
straight up like 80s and 90s like pantsuit wearing weirdos um god i'm so scared that she's gonna pee even though she just peed and she hasn't drank any water Oh, she's definitely smelling around and walking around. It's freaking me out. I'm so... I got PTSD. I swear to God. Close the door so she doesn't run out. What does she do? Oh my god. I'm sorry guys. There's chaos over here. God damn it. The real poop sock is the poop sock of a dog who just oh. oh, I'm so tired all the time because of this reason. Okay, this is the reason because Kaya is killing me. Okay, that's why I look sad lately. That's why. Okay, the IRL poop sock. Like this, yeah. She had to, she tried to do prison break. Oh my god, dog is going to end my life. Okay, you should hire a pro dog trainer to help and take some of the strain off yourself. I'm going to, I'm already talking to a dog trainer. Oh, I love her so much, but she's such a menace dude it is crazy how difficult it is to deal with her oh scared the shit out of me asshole she's being annoying i got it already friendo hold on one second i have to i have to figure out Thanks, mom. What is she doing? Yeah, this is like she's bored as shit. And she's probably going to poop in the crate now. Because my mom just walked her for a good amount of time. Can't wait for her to shit in the crate. And then I have to deal with it. Oh, my God. This guy the end of me, dude. Hi, right, play with your toy. Asshole. Play with your toy. I bet she's like, if I had some shit in me, I'd be pooping in here right now, but I don't have any poop left in me. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Here, say bye, Kaya. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.